it so bad. You get what you pay for, right? I would not buy these. I do not recommend buying these. On court review, so it's like we're testing all these shuttlecocks. Ronnie, here, you guys have met Ronnie before, right? He apparently has like tried these shuttlecocks already, so I'm gonna let him rank them. So worst are here, and then best go out here. Obviously, we have my AeroSense of 50. This is like the benchmark, right? <laughs> like this? You think this is the order? Yeah. All right, so the first thing I want to test is the consistency. So what we're doing, right, is we're going to test them and then we're going to like look at the groupings. I, if they're good, they all should land within these two lines and they should also be as tight of a circle as possible. These are so slow. Is that even reaching the back? Sorry, the consistency is not good, guys, just because like we have, we have no room to swing right here. In terms of speed, absolutely like way too slow. Like look where these shuttles are. They're all over the place. Like the consistency is like this huge circle here. As a benchmark, like what a good shuttle should look like. I'll be using my AeroSense of 50s, right? Look at how they perform, right? So the performance is a lot more consistent. Look, see? But as you can see, right? The consistency is a lot better. They're all landing in a much tighter grouping. That's what I mean by like a tight group, guys. Yeah. These are quite fast. Oh my. Yeah, so these are going about the same distance as the, the aero sensors were going. My God. But way less consistent. Same quality as XP2. They were about, they're faster than, than the TCXs. The TCXs were absolutely super slow. Young 55s. They're not old. They're young. Wow, huh? <laughs> so I'll get started over here with the young 55s. Yeah, okay. So we have some good impact here. We have a good flight path. They're making it further. <laughs> the linglings are all over the place. Look at this, guys. But I mean, some of them are now making it to that back line, right? So for the young 55s, though, we're still hitting short. This one has a better cork feel, though. I like this one a lot better than what we've used so far. I, I mean, but you can tell there's a very noticeable step up in quality. It's like, I would not enjoy a game where I had to use shuttlecock at this level or worse. Yeah, they're making it to that back line now. Like, my 60s are the first one. Oh yeah, now we're getting to the expensive stuff, right? We're getting into the 1K plus stuff. So he'll be using the airplane red and I'll be trying the airplane blacks. Yeah, these are making it to the back for sure. Good cork response, yeah, good flight. Oh no, these are still landing a bit short though. Like even the furthest one is just barely, not even here yet, so. We have airplane red, right? Very squarely here, like in the middle. <coughs> yeah, so so far, right, airplane red has the best performance. I'm making Ronnie redo the AeroSense of 50s. I feel like I hit them incorrectly, because see. Hey, yeah, okay. <laughs> Never mind. It's a good idea to retest, because see, hey, because like, look, they're all much tighter. They're all landing on the white line, right? So that's what I mean by like, what a good performing shuttlecock should be. And then also just like the quality control. Airplanes yeah, are these good. Are making Bling May 60s are good. The Young 55 was good. I wouldn't really use anything below yeah. that. So now we're going to just hit the shuttles. We're going to clear with them. We're going to net with them. We're going to drive with them, do some smashing, right? So the Ling May 60s, are, they run fast, meaning you should probably be getting a 76 instead of a 77. I guess they gave me the wrong one or I just misclicked, but yeah. Not expecting to have fun with this one at all. TCX 5000s. Ah, yeah. I just don't feel like anything. Oh, uh. yeah. Yeah, like the, the cork is just like in very inconsistent. I feel. Oh, it's so bad. Yeah, like the spin is like wobbly, guys. Like not very controlled. Very just like random in general. Yeah, like see, like you try to spin it, and they just like. And just, just whoop the whoops. Oh my god, these feel so like thin. <laughs> oh. 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 Hey. Okay, so overall quality of the shuttle. I think it's faster, so it's good for when driving only. But very, not very durable, very thin, thin feathers. Also right? durable. Five, uh, eight to ten shots. 
Wala na. Talaga, as in wala. I would not buy this. I do not recommend buying this. You go to a queuing and they have these, I'm leaving, basically. <laughs> okay, we're gonna switch to the Air Sense of 50s. I want him to kind of get a benchmark for what feels right. Okay. What? It's crispy. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, bandang control mo. Much accurate. Hoy! <laughs> So, right, the cork feels much better on like a high-end shuttle, which lets you like really in influence the spin. Much more heavier, like I feel already the shuttle. Comparison to, you know, TCX. TCX, I don't feel anything. Yeah, <laughs> and again, right, durability. This was a fresh shuttle cock. We just hit it a bunch and it still looks basically brand new, right? I don't really feel anything when I hit the, the shuttle. And the clears are like very short. Having to use way more power than when I used the Aerosense of 50s, right? And they're still running short, so. So this one, like, there's that cork feeling is not really there. It just feels like you're hitting the ball. It doesn't really feel like you're hitting the cork, if that makes sense, guys. Oh. Yeah, like... And again, right, durability, like the feathers are already messed up. They're not as bad as like the TCS 5000, right, where we already saw like an entire feather missing. Like, we are seeing a lot of like issues already. You get what you pay for, right? So this one, the cork feels a little bit more springy. Yeah. It's heavy. You can see it dip down too. You can see it dip down as well. I don't like it. Don't, yeah. <laughs> it's slow and heavy. Yeah. So for like lifting, because it's slow and heavy, it's Shit. good. But I don't like it entirely. Ayamo? Oh, it's so easy to spin, pero hard to get it over. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So XP2 feels very thin as well. And like, look at these like clears. Like they're going very short. I feel like they're thin as well. Yeah, it's somewhat same with cleaning tents. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the most similar. So this one, like, the shuttle feels very light. Right? Yeah. Like, I just don't really, I don't feel very inspiring to smash, like. Like, I'm just, I'm not even spinning it when I'm like serving it to you like that. May wobble na, diba? Oh, wobble. <laughs> yeah. I think the problem with XP2 is like, it's a light shuttle, is why like it wobbles during the flight, right? And like, look at the shape. So like, it's not necessarily the feathers, but the actual like, shapeness of the, the XP2 has like already, it's not perfectly circular. Look, see, you see how it's like, kind of oval now? We just used this for like three minutes, guys. What the end? They sound good. It's heavy. Yeah, it's, it's heavy like, like the other one. Just but like the young 30, it's heavy. Fast. Fast. 
Oi. 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 Oh. Yeah, it's just very, very heavy. Sirana. na. <laughs> Wala na. Sira na. Yeah, may wobble na yung bola, guys. And yeah, we've already we've uh, messed up a feather na as well. You guys see, right? This one here. Yeah. <laughs> Ay, naku. Yeah. So you need to put in effort for it to go, to go around the net? You have to like really like bite the shot. You have to be like, Mm, like yeah. that. So both Youngs are heavy. Yeah, Young is like more about durability really. But like, yeah, performance I don't like. But this is the queuing shuttle that he uses anyways. So like, I mean, <laughs> we're already like pretty fairly used to this. Well, like what I like to see. Yeah. Right? Oh. 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 For me, it's like kind of just like middle of the road for me. Okay. Bang it, yung spin? Yeah. Okay, okay. So yeah, this goes after what, Ling Mei 10s? Yeah. Yeah, I would say. For me, this isn't necessarily a good shuttlecock. It's just the other options are so bad. Yeah. It's too heavy, the spin is not there. I mean, but at least it's not breaking and like, you know, it's not deforming. So, I mean, like airplane reds and airplane blacks probably gonna be like, right, it's gonna be very obvious. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh. Yeah, that feels good. The clears are going to the very back. It's very effortless. Right, I'm not really having to, to push through much. Right? We're getting good we're getting good feedback. Oh. Yeah, the response in the cork is quite good. Like, as you can see, like, I'm very easily being able to lift back and forth, and then, like, my lifts are going onto the lines, right? Right? So, like, quite good. I quite enjoy this one. Whoa! Oh, hey. It slides. Ah. Oh, hey. So again, it's the same thing, right? Like, it still has some issues with the spin, but like in terms of like everything else, it, it's a it's little good. bit better, right? Yeah. Now we have like the best quote-unquote shuttles here, right? So we'll see how good they are. Hey, wobble. And they're much heavier. Actually, I think airplane reds are better. Yeah. Like, for me, airplane reds are better, actually. Bong it! I prefer the reds. When it's clear, it's like it feels like they're about the same. In the lifts, it feels like the reds are a bit easier to use. My ranking would be like TCX, right? The Youngs, X32, Ling Mei 10, 60, black, then red. Then red. Yeah. yeah. I think airplane reds are the best actually. So for the giveaway section, guys, I'll make like a thing in my bio. Just click on it. There will be six or seven winners. Basically, a winner for each tube. Um, so yeah, good luck, guys. Bye bye.